So on the fourth board, we had uh, Gavin in there with a no trouble overcall. Uh, and then Steve, you had some decisions to make uh, over that. So Steve, can you go ahead and uh, take us through uh, through this auction and the, the statement sequence and what everything meant? Sure. I mean, Gavin overcalled a no trump and he doesn't really have a great bid. It's not perfect with a singleton, but it seems certainly reasonable. He doesn't want to miss a ball game. Um, and I have a good enough hand that I just think we're making game. The only disastrous thing that could happen would be as if they like run some suit against us. So it, I could have puppet statement to try bid three clubs to try to get to a five four major fit. Otherwise, play three no. But the problem with bidding three clubs is it's easier for them to double that than two clubs. Now, I wasn't really worried about them doubling two clubs after they opened a diamond, but when they did double two clubs, I was sort of wishing I had just bid three no. And um, after I bid two clubs and I went double, we play immediate bids by Gavin, show a stopper and pass deny a stopper. So his two spade bid showed four spades and the club stopper, and after that, I had nothing to think about but the game. Okay, and and so what would, uh, so pass would deny a stopper here then? Right, he could pass and then I could redouble to say continue stamen, or he could redouble two clubs to say he wants to play two clubs redoubled. So bidding shows a stopper, pass denies a stopper. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I really felt ugly showing a club stopper with my singleton ace. And just to talk about the one no Trump overcall, the, the reason I think that, that I had to overcall, I mean, for the reason Steve mentioned, but also I have a distribution that uh, it doesn't look like, there's no real way that the auction can play out, you know, that, that I have a good takeout double later because I don't have two, any two other suits. Like sometimes when you have uh, a singleton honor, you could just wait, and the opponents are going to respond to suit, and it's going to go past, and you're going to get to make a takeout double on your second action, and and that'll be your best way into the auction. This is a hand where I'm not going to have a better opportunity to bid later. That's why I overcalled one of Trout. Okay. Uh, and Gavin, so was there anything interesting to the play? Um, well, it was kind of complicated. I was trying really hard not to go down. Uh, uh, when they so the, what did they lead? they led uh, they led a club around to my ace, and I knew I, sorry when when just from uh, from the club suit the fact that, the fact that they opened a diamond and then bid two clubs I knew that they didn't have that many major suit cards uh, so I was worried about them having singleton ace uh, or ace doubleton or uh, of spades so I, I and but it was still entirely possible that they had a singleton heart and four spades so. I, I, I wanted to, uh, I, uh, what happened, what, what did I play now? I, I actually don't even remember what I played. But you I, played I, so, kind of hearts to the ace. So, right, so I, cro I crossed in hearts to lead a spade up to my king. And now uh, when my king of spades held the trick and it looked like the, the, the defender had at least ace and one spade, uh, and now at this point I've lost no tricks, right? And uh, I, it, I, by um, I know I'm going to lose the king of diamonds eventually, and I have this worry that when I lose the king of diamonds, that um, they're going to leave more clubs at me. And uh, I I I, th I thought the best thing for me to do was to. By the way, I didn't know for sure that that declare that the ace of spades was on side, but it rated to be because they opened the bidding, and it was it was like an outside shot that they'd opened some ridiculous hand, like it, like the you know king king ten six the diamonds or, and king queen jack four not even sixth, yeah king I mean king ten six king queen jack fourth was was like there, but I really I, I know that the ace of spades on side, so uh, I I just decided that I could afford to let the opponents rough a spade. Uh, for a rough, rough a heart rather, uh, that 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 was not going to cost me my contract. So this was I was actually safety playing. I was willing to let the guy let 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 West rough. So I played the Queen of Hearts and I played the Jack of Hearts. Intent I thought he was going to rough, uh, w but uh, he followed suit. So now I, I knew the entire shape of the hand. So now I I crossed to a diamond. Yeah, and I, I maybe I knew maybe at that point I should have just given him the spade first, but. Uh, I feel like I couldn't avoid a loser because they're going to play back a club when they get in with the spade, and then they're going to play back a club when they get in with the diamond. So, uh, so they could have. I don't know. I don't know if, how many tricks I ended up taking. So, uh, but I, I think that they were entitled to two trump tricks no matter what. But I was never going down on this line of play. I, 
Yes, yeah, so they scored two trumps and a diamond. Even if trumps were four one, I was I'm pretty sure I was still okay. Okay, anything else on this hand you want to go over again? No. Okay, at the other table, uh, two clubs was not doubled. Uh, Greg, did you consider doubling two clubs, and and can you take us through the bidding and the play? Uh, sh sure, yeah, this is uh, definitely a calmer, uh, more conservative Greg in the bidding. Uh, I I've had... I mean, I don't know. Looking at it, actually, now I'm surprised I didn't double it. I know at the time I was just thinking, like, man, I've, I've had these bids wrapped around my neck so many times. I really don't want to go for minus 760 on this hand, but uh, I definitely should have doubled, I think. I, I don't know why I didn't double. I know that's what I was thinking, but I don't understand why I was doing that. Well, I mean, not going, not going for a number. I don't think it's that it's that big a deal. Uh, like I don't, I, I don't. It's hard to really see it helping or hurting. But you know, like if if it, when it's bad, it's really bad. When they send it back to you, you're feeling stupid because you just cannot beat two clubs with your right. hand. <laughs> right. uh, Steve, you're muted. You're talking, but you're muted there, Steve. Why, Steve? You're muted. Yeah, I was I was saying that um there's certainly a lot of risk of it going. I mean, you want a club lead; it could, it could definitely help. But the chance of it going redouble is pretty scary, and I think your pass is certainly reasonable. Okay, the, the well, I was beating myself up about it, but the the, the the risk is absolute. Clearly, when they redouble and they make, they're going to make it, and you're it's a disaster. Uh, and the 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 upside is not absolute. Like even when you double and it's right to double. It's still like it's you. You don't have three no trump or four of a major beat in your own hand on a club lead. So like, even when you're right, you might not be right. So there's there's that's that's why I, I don't think it's clear at all to double. I mean I I, I would want to double. I, I don't know if I would. would or it shows the point that I was making earlier that if I had been three clubs puppet stain and that it, it's a lot easier to double because Greg would have a much safer double of three clubs, and I think we lost Greg. He didn't double two clubs, so he's kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> no, they really have to make over tricks too before it's cost that much. Because I mean, two clubs doubled and redoubled making is not that much more if they're bidding and making three no or four. If, if they're making, if if they're they, they don't course, necessarily right, if they're bidding making. or making three no trump. All right, it's catastrophic if they're not making the game. It's right. like your double your double is the most likely to stop them from making game, but it's also the most risky thing to do. And sometimes when declarer has ace ten fourth of clubs, it gives him a roadmap to actually make a game that he might not have made. No, that's a good point too. That's an, an sure. added edge for declarer, even if they don't play two clubs redoubled. And yeah. it's a little bit safer if if West Greg had a suit to run to if it went to redouble, but. He just knows if it goes redouble, he's absolutely dead. And there's just nothing he can do. Sorry about that. We're having a giant thunderstorm here, and my power just went on and off. Emergency generator. Yeah, I got somebody running Wait. on a hamster wheel in the other room. Um, well, Greg, the jury has acquitted you of your uh, failure to double two clubs. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Uh, can you go ahead and take us through the uh, the, the play? Sure. Uh, so, you know, having not doubled, partner naturally leads a diamond. And I'm encouraged on the diamond lead. I mean, I guess I don't didn't really seem like there was any huge urgency for partner to get clubs going immediately. And, you know, I'm the one with the spade entries. Okay. So Declare now plays a spade, and you won the first spade. Can you tell us your thinking on that? Right. Well, partner's led the four of diamonds, and... Um, you know, I can't see the three or the two, and I don't know, it's funny. You know, partner declare played the five here, or sorry, played the yeah, the five. Right, right, played the five on the first round, and so I know that Jason's not leading the four from four three two. So I'm pretty sure he has a doubleton. I'm just trying to get him his uh, spade rough or diamond rough. Rather. So that false card actually clarified the position for you. What's name? Um, I mean, it just it made it impossible that Jason had three. 
Right. Okay, so then you gave him a, or you cash a diamond and then gave him a rough. Yeah. And at that point, Declarer was actually not minding that you did that because it sort of solved right. all the rest of the problems. Yeah, yeah, now that there's no danger of losing two spades or anything like that. Right, I think Danny didn't, I think his false card to allow the rough was on purpose because he knew mm -hmm. if the ref was given, there was no chance he could go down. Okay. I mean, also, it just very, cool. it's very natural uh, when you have a long suit in your opponent's opening suit to try to make it look like the person hasn't led a singleton. Like, he, the reason he held, he withheld the deuce is in case West had five of them. Sure. Now, now he's making it harder for... De like, this is the type of hand where he can see looking at Queen-Jack-9 fifth, the one thing he doesn't want to have happen is for West to lead a low diamond and to have East rough. That's the big thing that that that, that he, he wants that on the second round of diamonds for the king. If, if especially if West has five, if West has four, it doesn't matter. But if West has five, he does not want West to duck the king of diamonds to let his partner rough. That's the, that's now he's dead to rights. So he, he really wants to hide the fact that he, he doesn't want to show East has a singleton if it's possible. Well, he's not dead to right if that happens. He, so then, well, excuse me, dead to right was definitely not the right thing, but all I mean is, like, that's his only downside. Yeah, right. he, he could go down if that was what yeah, happened. Yeah, right. What he really wants is for them to win the king of diamonds, give his partner a diamond or off so that he's just, like, claiming 10 tricks. Yeah. Got it. Okay. And that was a push board.